Berlin is a city with hardcore fans around the globe, so the only question that comes up when you hear of Singapore's first restaurant dedicated to the German capital's food scene is, why has it taken this long? Berlin 65 is a casual eatery on Stanley Street where you can finally get your fix of currywurst with fries, Berlin-style kebabs, Kreuzberg brewed beer on tap, and more. Only a few months old. The restaurant, with its laid-back vibe and street art-style walls, pays homage to the melting pot cuisine of a city that's famously edgy, artsy, full of history and colourfully multicultural. With Turkish and Vietnamese cooking being a big part of it. Who are the founders? Um, well, they are Austrians. Berlin 65 is opened by Stefan Zoisel of Fine Dining Restaurant Chef's Table by Chef Stefan. And Lorenz Reich, who is also group executive chef at casual Bavarian chain restaurant Broadside. But, seeing as Berlin and Singapore are similar in that they are a melting pot of cultures. As Reich pointed out, who's keeping score? He and Zoisel were motivated to start Berlin 65 because they themselves, having lived here for about a decade, longed for the things they would eat on their numerous trips to the German city. In Singapore, you can find everything in good quality. You get food from France, Italy, and all over the world. But, you can't find this German style. This was always, for us, the biggest craving, Reich shared. Berlin's most famous street food is, of course, the currywurst, a pork sausage doused in curry ketchup and sprinkled with curry powder. Here at Berlin 65, it's more gourmet than pre-made fast food. The curry ketchup is made in-house, according to a recipe that Zoisel came up with while playing around in the kitchen. We cook it from scratch, with only fresh ingredients, we roast a lot of onions. Then add garlic, tomato paste and lots of fresh tomatoes, and blend it into a fine sauce. It has a bit more of a fresh character than traditional curry ketchup, Reich said. The curry powder used comes directly from Germany, no. Not Tekka Market, as German curry powder is its own animal. It's a bit more yellow. I don't think you'll find this kind of curry powder in Asia's cuisine, Reich chuckled. Wash it down with BRLO Pale Ale, brewed in Kreuzberg, exclusively available here on tap. Then there is the other essential, the Berlin-style donor kebab. You can get good sausages and schnitzel in Singapore. But the German interpretation of the kebab was really an item missing, Reich said. The distinctive element? The additional ingredients. While in Turkey, a kebab would be flatbread with meat and a bit of onion. It became a German thing to add fresh vegetables like cabbage, tomato, cucumber and different sauces, Reich said. Among Berlin 65's donor kebabs are the 1972 Berlin original Teen Singapore Dollars. Featuring spit roasted chicken with lettuce, tomato, and a garlic yogurt dressing, and the Bon Mi 18 Singapore dollars with spit roasted chicken, pate, pickles, sriracha, coriander, and loads of vegetables. There's also a vegetarian option in vegetable is King 19 Singapore dollars, which has roasted portobello mushroom, feta cheese, tomato, cucumber, homemade tomato chili sauce, pickled onion garlic yogurt and fresh chili. There are more Turkish-inspired items on the menu, such as simit bread for Singapore dollars and 50 cents baked with molasses and sesame and pet with a spicy tomato dip. Turkish flatbread for Singapore dollars and 50 cents with white and black sesame seeds and pet with a garlic yogurt sauce, and odono kebab, grilled handmade skewers of beef and lamb served with basmati rice. And other dishes from traditional Berlin home cooking include Konigsberger Klops 16 Singapore dollars or 22 Singapore dollars or meatballs made with veal and beef in a white roux with capers and Berliner Bulletin 
24 Singapore dollars, or spicy beef patties, served with potato salad. Braised red cabbage and mustard. End off with a vanilla, strawberry, or apricot jam berliner, eat Singapore dollars and think about how John F. Kennedy was famously misunderstood to have proclaimed himself a jelly donut in his iconic 1963 Ich bin Ein Berliner speech.